Hello again, okay, here in this video. I want to talk a little bit about uh, how dumb we've become, okay? How we've become slaves and didn't even know you became a slave. And that's right, because that's exactly what's happened. Everybody has turned themselves into slaves without realizing they was. And it all started in 1913 when the bankers came in. Everything was based on putting you in debt. That's what everything was done. It was based to put you in debt, to keep you in debt. To keep you owing them, them, so that they can sit back and do absolutely nothing while you line their pockets and make them rich. Okay? And that's what this was all about to begin with. So that the bankers could sit back, not work, do absolutely nothing, and live the high life off of your labor, your slave labor, okay? Now we've all become really good slaves, that's right. And you're about to even become better slaves. I'll tell you why, because they're going to crash your dollar. And then you're going to be working for pennies a day. That's right, you're going to be working for pennies a day. It's no different than the justice system, the prison system, and the mental wards. See, they used the mental wards for years to experiment on people. They railroaded hundreds of people over the years, hundreds of thousands of people have been railroaded and put behind bars or mental institutions and there was nothing wrong with them. So that your government could use them for guinea pigs to experiment, experiment on in the mental hospitals and in the prison system so they could make money off them. That way, the bankers continued to profit. Well, you think that's, I mean, you know, you say that, well, these people behind bars are being punished to criminals. So they uh, don't deserve a good life behind bars because they're being punished. When you have a guy that just served 27 years behind bars for murder that he didn't commit, that was released from prison because the DNA proved he didn't do it. After he lost 27 years of his life. And now the state of Florida wants to turn around and deny him any kind of lawsuit for the 27 years he lost. Because they want to say that he, the only way he could sue the, state, sue the state for any money for the loss of his 27 years was if uh, he had a clean record before he went to prison. Well, he had a clean record except for one bus when he was younger before he served the 27 years for uh, marijuana. The subject that uh, the United States government and the CIA runs into this country. And that's right. They keep the drugs illegal run them into this country, put them on the streets so that you fools will buy them so they can use it to put you in the system to get free labor out of you. They'll never legalize it because legalizing it they don't stand to make the profits. If they keep it illegal they can lock you up for years, get free labor out of you, charge you the fines, charge you the court cost and make a mint off of your ass, off of something they brought into this country. That's right, the very same people that arrest you, okay, your government, who says that makes the laws, are the ones running the drugs into this country to begin with. Running it into this country so that they can use it to put you behind bars. That's because they want you to be a slave. That's because the bankers have it all figured out. That they sit back and do absolutely nothing that they live the high life. They have caviar, steaks, of every kind. They live the high life. They never work a day one in their life. And all of you people, all of you slaves, you will make sure they have a good life because you will slave labor for them. That's right, for them. And they will gladly tell you what color to shit and how high to jump. And you slaves will gladly do it. Well, the reason this has happened to us is because none of us stand up for ourselves. We all become yellow. We all become cowards. We sit back and watch them pass law after law after law after law after law after law into this land. Then you want to sit here in America and say you live in the land of the free. Ha! You ain't lived in the land of free in years. Land of the uh, land where you lose more freedom every year. That's right. The land where you're about to become a complete slave when they crash your dollar. Oh, that's right. A lot of you don't think they're going to. 
when they are, and you're all going to have a sad surprise when they do. It's no different than the troll who called into the show last night, who thought he was smart talking about TFL like he was living it, and then started laughing his ass off. But what he was doing was really, he was showing you his mentality. He was showing you that he has the mind of a two-year-old or a three-year-old. He was showing you that his mentality is that he has never grown up. That his mentality is that to think he's funny, ignore what's going on around him, think it's smart to make trouble to somebody else, but don't worry. Because see, the bankers are going to enjoy making trouble for his dumb ass. When his dollar is no good, they're going to be loving his dumb ass when he's all panicked and all worried. But he'll have it coming. See, as people like him, they caught into our show, that are the reason the United States will not exist no more. That are the reason all of you will become total slaves. That are the reason they will use the FEMA camps and kill millions. See, it's people like that person who caught into my show that are the reason all of this will happen. Yeah, that's right. So see, while he's laughing, he's laughing that he is the reason the United States fell. He's laughing that he is the reason millions will die, including himself. He's laughing that his dollar will be no good. He's laughing because he will be on the street with the rest homeless and won't have no money. He's laughing because they'll take him to a FEMA camp where they can kill him. That's what he's laughing at, that's right. He's laughing at his ability to destroy his own country. He's laughing at his ability to show how dumb he really is. But it's that mindset right there that you people have that is what's leading this country to be no more. Because you're all that stupid. You're not willing to open your eyes and look at what's going on around you. You're not willing to stand up for what's right. You're only willing. You're only willing to be ignorant, to be dumb, that's all you're reading it for, okay, is to be willing and dumb. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you a clip, okay? <clears throat> this is a clip of a dumbass cop. That's right. This is a clip of somebody like you people who are all about themselves. Somebody like you people who's on a power trip and thinks he has the right to do anything he wants, who don't give a shit about nobody around him. But see, this dumbass cop, don't realize he's going to be in the same boat with the rest of us. He don't realize his dollar is going to be all good too. That he's going to be struggling for his next meal. He don't realize that his ass will be hauled into a FEMA camp and killed just like the rest of his family members. But yet he wants to think he's big because he's got a badge. He's just like the rest of you people, like the person that called into my radio show last night. Very dumb and very ignorant. Check out this video. Leave your comments to the next one. You have a good one. Tonight, the Minneapolis Police Department is again defending itself against accusations an officer went too far during an arrest. Video given to us late tonight shows a man with his hands on a squad car tasered in the neck. <laughs> Reg Chapman talked with that man's lawyer tonight, and Reg joins us from the newsroom. Hi, Reg. Amelia, attorney Albert Goings gave me this videotape about 90 minutes ago. He's suing the city of Minneapolis on behalf of his client, Rolando Ruiz. They're asking for $75,000 and that the officer involved be reprimanded. The video given to us tonight starts only seconds before Rolando Ruiz is tasered. We do not see what led up to the incident. We don't see a struggle underway in the two seconds before the officer used his taser on Ruiz. What we do see is Ruiz had his hands on the hood of the officer's squad car. The dash camera was rolling when the officer approached Ruiz with taser in hand. Takes that taser, puts it to the back of his neck and shocks him until he's incapacitated on the ground slumped before the squad car. Going says his client's civil rights were violated. He wants the city to settle the claim out of court. If not, he says he and his client are prepared to take their case to federal court.
A Minneapolis police spokesperson says Chief Tim Dolan has not seen the tape. The department is not saying anything about the incident because it is now a legal matter. Now, we are not naming the officer at this point because there were a number of officers on the scene and we haven't independently confirmed the name of the officer with the taser. Amelia? All right, Reg, thank you.